Hey Twin Flames, how are you all? So I will first share the current energies of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and after that I will give you a small guidance on this Twin Flame journey a small overview of this journey So first of all um, the current energies of the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines are very positive they both are very hopeful for the union in future they both are currently working on their, their respective whatever work they do they are focused on that work but uh, at the end of the day they both love each other they both think about each other and they both you know fantasize about each other uh, physically and uh, of course they both visual visualize their partners in their future they want to build a family they want to have a happy home with them um, and they both uh, of course are focusing as well on their respective you know or uh, respective whatever work they do they're also doing that so they, this time uh, the energies are very balanced and very calm and no sadness no crying and all very good energies are i'm sensing for from both the masculines as well as the feminine side so yes this time is um very happy for both of them they both are very satisfied very balanced and of course this is an indication also that the union is approaching for them so be happy twin flames within sometimes you know depends on journey to journey you both will be reunited soon but as always i say you need to be patient you don't need to be thinking every time about your union there are many things you need to work on still you need to work on your abundance your self respect your self love many things you need to you know still learn that is only why the union is still a little far so whatever god is wanting you to learn please learn the lessons like a good student that's only when you qualify with flying colors and have a good reunion with your twin so all the best for that now i come on to that guidance part which i wanted to share with you all first of all many people are interpreting this twin flame journey as only the the main aim they think of this journey is only the physical reunion the marriage with your twin my dears this is not the case your ultimate reunion is not your uh, uh, you know Uh, union with your physical union with your masculines it's nothing like that nothing it's not even one person true the real purpose why your twin and you have split it into two souls and you have been embodied and sent to each other is not only bec- uh, uh, because the god wants you to reunite romantically and have a good life together have marriage and kids this is not the case you must have noticed that your twin behaves in a very weird way very different way from the other masculines around i mean the normal masculine not the divine masculine it's normal you know men around you which might be in a relationships with the your friends or anyone you know you see couples around they're having a very you know chit chatting relationships you know roaming around having happy times and you all you must always wonder why me you know why is this special relationship i'm having which has nothing like they have you always keep comparing your relationship to the normal relationship normal 3d relationships which are not going anywhere you know they don't have any destination to reach they just have this lifetime and 
मतलब दैट दैट टू सम ऑफ देम अदर आर जस्ट फ्लिंग फॉर सम मंथ्स और सम वीक्स एंड देन दे चेंज दे पार्टनर सो ऑफ कोर्स यू डोंट हैव एनी ऑफ सच रिलेशनशिप विद योर ट्विन योर रिलेशनशिप विद योर ट्विन इज फॉर यू नो इज फॉर एवर फॉर लाइफ टाइम्स टू कम्स फॉर यू नो फॉर एवर टिल दिस यूनिवर्स लास विच इज फॉर एवर सो डो नॉट कंपेयर योर रिलेशनशिप टू एनी थिंग अराउंड यू एनी पर्सन अराउंड यू सो यू जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू हैव बीन पुट इन टू दिस जर्नी नॉट फॉर अल्टीमेटली री यूनाइटिंग विद योर ट्विन दैट इज ऑल्सो अ पार्ट एंड ऑल्सो द लास्ट थिंग दैट हैपन्स इन योर ट्विन फ्लेम जर्नी बट द अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ दिस जर्नी इज टू मेक नेसेसरी चेंजेस इन आर सोल and our life our nature which are actually the stains on our soul which needs to be cleared to clear a stain you have to rub and you have to you know uh, you know uh, you have to clean a particular area repeatedly to clean that part and to make it stainless that is only how you also have to clean your soul so to clean your soul your your angels and the god are repeatedly sending you problems pain your masculines trigger you why do they trigger you do they have a uh, you do they have some enmity with you no they love you unconditionally they behave in such a weird way so that you they can uh, let you learn some uh, lessons you need to learn by not contacting you they are teaching you to stay patient calm and have that uh, patience in waiting for them so by you know having a very foggy future you know all the twin flames have a foggy future nobody is uh, you know certain that they will reunite with their twin flame for sure or not by having this foggy future you all turn flames are being taught to surrender to the divine when you surrender that you are not more affected by the fact that you re- may re- reunite or not you are fully surrendering to the divine that i fully believe that the divine will do whatever is the most beneficial thing for me and that is the most beautiful thing most beautiful moment that you can reach so basically all you need to learn is the basics that will uh, ultimately make you a divine soul which god wants you to be that's only when you will merge into the almighty so you know just focus on your union with the almighty and your union with yourself being balanced being a good person being a good soul being a very kind soul that is only when you will feel properly satisfied your twin will not satisfy you completely you who will satisfy you you yourself can satisfy yourself even you know there are people they do not have any love relationship or any uh, romantic relationship but they are happiest why because they are satisfied with themselves they know how to be happy within themselves they don't need anyone any codependency issues they have just don't have these thing so your twin is not your enemy he is not doing anything bad to you he is he is just teaching you certain things be open to the lessons that are going on carefully observe them what is the god wants you to learn learn the lessons keep them in mind make necessary changes surrender to the god uh unconditionally love everyone around you even if something bad is happening some bad person is there he is doing something uh bad to you just uh, you know focus on what he is trying to teach you why has he been sent to you from the god the purpose and when you uh, actually learn that thing stops so मतलब 
all these things are just being there for you to learn certain things they are not nobody is your enemy the god doesn't want to trouble you by sending you all these pains and sadness he wants you to learn certain things and the more quickly you learn these things the more quickly you are out of this pain and everything once you achieve that point where nothing affects you neither sadness nor happiness you're not even dependent on your soul for your happiness you're just contented he goes or he comes you are in the same frame of mind you're balanced you're not no more affected by the triggers he is throwing at you that is the ultimate union you achieve and then ultimately you also achieve a union with your twin you will be in a very beautiful relationship romantic relationship with him in the 3d that is actually a prize for you when you qualify your um, universities and your teachers give you a prize that is the prize for you so to attain that prize you not to attain that prize but that is actually a prize to you so if you really want a union with your twin if that is the ultimate thing you think of that is a part of the ultimate thing but that is not the ultimate thing the ultimate things will take place already when you're balanced when you're happy within yourself even with your alone you're happy with your god so this is a spiritual journey moving towards the god moving towards the almighty moving towards the moksha the meaning of moksha is when nothing affects you so just you know carefully think what what you are thinking if currently you are think only thinking about your reunion no that is the wrong thing think about your happiness bliss which you can attain by connecting to the divine by asking for help only with the divine you need to communicate that's all